Hey everyone, it's Easy. Bringing you the top 5 things that I thought I knew but I got so wrong. First was a pretty big one. I thought the Federal Reserve was the government. Turns out, nope, I was wrong. Turns out they were wrong too. They stated that they were not owned by anyone. They did boast this though. First of all, the Federal Reserve is an independent agency. There is no ag other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. What should be the proper relationship between a chairman of the Fed and a president of the United States? What the relationships are uh, don't frankly matter. When you get done wanting to punch him, you can see the Fed has brilliantly lowered the value of $100 down to $350 in under 100 years. That's hard to do. All that you have to do is Google the Federal Reserve in World War One, or the Rothschild family in World War One, or the Illuminati in association with the Federal Reserve and you know there's something wrong with the whole system. These elite international bankers that do own shares into the Federal Reserve have some sort of ties with the assassination of our Archbishop Franz Ferdinand and a little later on the assassination of John F. Kennedy. These are things you just can't ignore. They're not federal, they have no reserve, they never publicize a single account, yet they've profited $150 billion a year. This was one of my favorite ignorant things to say, that the U.S. is only known for their defense. We're no longer number one in the world at technology, at, in the medical field, in the financial market. So are we just a big giant gun? Well, not really. We still lead the, lead the way in a lot of business and financial avenues. For example, just breaking down some of the simpler things like our automobiles. We literally spent $143 billion just in gas back in 2016. That's a huge amount of revenue that we can produce for our country. Even though China outproduces us in a lot of things like the production of automobiles, they do have 2 billion people there. Another thing that Americans can boast is our international flights and our domestic flights are like none other than the world. In 2016, we had a staggering 10 million domestic flights. It's unbelievable. And something else that we're known for is our safety. In 2016, we did not lose one single life in a plane crash. And that is just something that no one else can say. As we complain about heightened security at the airports and pat-downs and suspicious-looking people getting searched, well, at least we don't have to fly next to chickens and risk crashing into cars on the highway. That sounds like something I would do, is get hit by a plane while I'm driving. Number three is home of the free. The United States is a free country. Despite having one of the best pieces of documentation that has ever been written, the United States Declaration of Independence and the Constitution, we have amended it and done exactly what the founders of this country were afraid of. We have made it illegal for people to step foot on federal property, which means that we are a country that owns the government, yet we can't walk on government property. What is wrong with that? What this does is basically make it illegal to be homeless. There's no place for someone that's homeless to go. Number two, you have to show your ID to the police when they ask you for it. We've all heard this. License registration, please. But is it really mandatory that you have to give them your license and registration? Is it really mandatory that you have to give them your ID when they ask for it? There are actually federal laws that protect, protect our privacy. There are federal laws in place to make sure that law enforcement cannot violate our rights. Unfortunately, you have to understand what the laws are in order to utilize them to your advantage. Kind of like this guy right here does. Am I being detained? You're a witness. I am a witness. Yes, so are you obligating me to give you my personal I'm information? I'm requesting your ID. Are you going to give me your ID? No, I'm not. 
Hey. Did he win this whole thing? Yeah. Oh, he's got it all on video. Awesome. That's not correct. Officer Conway did not arrive okay. until after the incident had been underway, and neither did I. And I have been advised by another officer. You have this on video. And she's advised us as well. So, okay. well, you can you do, have your ID. I, I do have so an ID. I can ID. send you a subpoena for your video. Sir. You can subpoena it if you serve me properly with a subpoena. That's great. Where's I the need subpoena? to know who to serve. No. So I need your ID. You great. Mail. Okay. Well, that's great. I'm can not going to give you... More? No. I need to get your ID. No, I don't, I don't want to give you my you ID. you have the evidence of what happened here? I, I don't. I don't have to give you my ID. You mind if I review the footage? I do. It's my photo. I don't consent to a search. I'm not going to search. Well, if you're going to, if you, I'm not, I'm not, I am not consenting to give you possession of my cell phone. That's the evidence of what happened here. That's not your evidence. It's my evidence. What is your name? I'm not telling you my name. Okay. You're, you're standing. Are the, you detaining hour, me or arresting me? is 709. We're at O'Farrell. We're at O'Farrell and Jones, and Jones Correct. Street. Okay. Yeah, I'm on my way to meet a friend. This is, this is awesome. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You want me to start with you? Put that on there. Right there. Right. But don't touch me without my consent. This gentleman has evidence to the proceedings that happened here, the fight with the officer. I'm going to attempt to try to get his information because he obtains evidence that regarding this case. Yeah, at this point, it would be an obstruction of justice if you, you oh, you're, you're going to charge me? It's an obstruction of justice if you have evidence, yes. Okay, go ahead and charge me. I just need to see your ID. Why? I don't want to tell you my name. You guys are mistreating everybody. Why am I going to give you my name the way you treat people? I'm sorry. I'm not did, I, did you hear me tell him to stop resisting? Yes, on the video. Yeah, I did. I have a copy of the video. Come no. So you, so you have evidence on your phone that I can't have? Yeah. You can, you can give me a subpoena. Seize his phone and get his ID. You give me a subpoena. Sir. Cool. Yes. I'm I would like a copy of your identification so that I may note any incident report regarding this incident. You can note in the incident report, but I don't have to give you my name. Then I don't. How, how am I supposed to give you a subpoena that you've asked for if I don't have your name? I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know. Would you like me to issue you a citation for obstruction? Let me ask you a question. Am I free to go? No. You're detaining me on what basis? Now you're detaining me on obstruction. On what? I'm not obstructing justice. I'm not getting in the way. No. What you're doing is intimidating citizens from monitoring your behavior. Okay. You're saying you can't record. Okay. You're requesting the evidence. So why, so why am I not free to go? Because why am I not free to go? You're withholding evidence. I'm not withholding any evidence. Sir. There's video cameras all around here. Sir. You're not going to let me go? Sir. Stop yelling. I want to talk to you. Okay, let's talk. Okay. I'm talking to you. Great. Can am you I free to go? Can you stop interrupting? I already answered your question. Why have I been detained? You want a subpoena, right? I, I want to go meet my friend at the bar where so I was on my way to. What I want to do is know why I'm detained. So you don't want to subpoena? Why have I been detained, officer? You want, it's Officer King. King. Right, why have I been detained, Officer King? Why? Because you said that why you have want I been... a subpoena? No. You. If you you're trying to hold me here against my will, yeah, give me a subpoena. And I would like your identification so we may note it in the incident report. If you feel that there's something untoward here, you should be in the incident report. I don't know what happened here. I feel that what's being you untoward is my we detention. You just people. Well, if you're not letting me go, why can't I go? I have no idea what happened. I didn't see how it started. I walked up, I took out my phone like a lot of other people, and now you're telling me I'm detained. I have a friend waiting for me over there. I'd like to go meet her. But you don't want to provide your information? I don't want to participate in any kind of police okay. prosecution, no. We don't prosecute, sir. That's the district attorney's okay. office. Okay, whatever. I don't want to participate. I want to go meet my friend. That's cool. That's all I want to do. But you're telling me I'm detained. On what basis? On what basis am I detained? You said that you wanted a subpoena. If you want to subpoena me, subpoena me. Subpoena. I'm not going to consent to a search of my phone, nor am I going to stay here unless you tell me that I have to. Well, you all are telling you're surrounding me, and I do not feel that I'm free to go right now. If you're telling me I'm not, to, I'm not free to go. I can't leave. If I am free to go, then I'm leaving. I'm going to cross the street because I have the light. Am I free to go? Just give me one more second. Okay, I'm going to walk away. I have the light. Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah. Thank you. If you want to help out, then great, help out. But if you want to be left alone and you don't feel like you have the time or the energy to help out an investigation, you should have the right to step aside and let the police officers do their work.
Coming in at number one on our list, probably the most controversial one on the list as well, is you must pay your taxes. This goes all the way back to 1909 to 1913 when Philander Knox, Secretary of State of the Taft Administration, proclaimed the 16th Amendment be claim the 16th amendment be ratified just days before he left office in 1913 during the Wilson administration now I found some really cool stuff on on this on all in one website I have the link to the website at the end I'm gonna sum it all up for you real quick the Constitution specifically says that any laws that come after the original Constitution if they are against the law if they're unconstitutional then the Constitution by by right null and voids any amendment what happened is during the 16th amendment first of all it wasn't processed properly it was rejected by at least half of the existing government but they never took it off the docket they never eliminated it completely and the federal reserve has been using the 16th amendment to collect federal income taxes ever since then don't take my word for it go look it up yourself this is one of those things that it's best to do your own investigation because there has been a lot of people that have not paid their taxes and ended up in jail because they didn't know how to defend themselves. Right now our government refuses to discuss this with any kind of formal committee saying it is not in their best interest. I think it's because enough people pay federal taxes, they volunteer it. Uh, this group here says that we are actually violating our Fifth Amendment rights by volunteering our taxes. I think everyone should go and check it out. It's something that's really interesting to me. Hope you liked the video. Not exactly a gaming video like I'm used to. I enjoyed making it. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.